On your mark, get set. Right, right. We got halitosis. You're you're loaded because that's worm urine and worm droppings that you're breathing out. So it's no wonder your breath's bad. Um, <laughs> see, uh, critters when they pee, that's called ammonia. So just go to a doctor, have a blood test, and see what level of ammonia is in your blood. If you have ammonia in your blood, that's called worm urine. That's what it is. So we have a test to see if you've got a lot of worms. If you're on a fast and you're fasting and you're, you're, you're on a diet and you get a headache, you got the headache because the worms are all peeing, trying to get you to eat something else. They're trying to make you sick so you'll get off of what you're doing and start eating. So you take some arginine and orthanine in a matter of 20 minutes. If the headache's gone, you've neutralized the worm urine and you know that you're loaded. All children that have little tiny pimples on the backs of their arms or little tiny pimples here on the edges of their cheeks have five varieties of critters in them. Five varieties. It's time to deworm and it's time to get them out. Now what I found out was is that vibration and frequency is everything. It is literally everything. If you take an aspirin, it changes the way you vibrate. And so it blocks the nerves so that you can't feel pain. If you take deworming programs, you change your vibration, and you change your vibration so dramatically that the worms and parasites either have to get out of you, this is no longer a good home, or they die in you. And then your lungs and your liver and all that stuff handle it. And you do it with water. And out of all of this, I handled my cancer, my stomach and esophagus cancer, which is a terminal problem. I am the only that I know survivor of stomach and esophagus cancer in this nation. I'm the only one that I know. All right? I did it with frequency. A man by the name of Royal Rife in 1934 had a microscope and invented a particular device. I found one of his original devices. I used it, and it got rid of my cancer, and I haven't had it since. Now, that was in 1934. So you can see what they've held from you. So what we did is we looked at Nikola Tesla. We looked at all his equipment. We did all his stuff. And I went out searching out original pieces of his equipment. I own more pieces of original Tesla equipment than any other human that I know.